hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from samax code and in this video guys we're gonna learn how to use menu bar and how we can add menu items and menus into our menu bar and we're going to implement also the separator for our menu items and i'm planning to add you know icons to our menu items to add um, you know appeal to our java effects application so i have here guys my demo menu bar project and if you are following with my java effects tutorial uh, you should know by now how, how to create your own project in java effects so we have here three files uh, the demo menu bar main and main controller so basically what we want here is to edit first the main.fxml file and then we're going to add the menu bar into our javafx application so go ahead open up your main.fxml file and then we'll start from here and as you can see we have the default layout which is the anchor pane and then we could you know delete this and then we're going to add first the border pane layout or the border pane element so border pane element guys has this you know um, areas or locations that we could insert different elements so we could insert element to the top portion left center right and bottom portion of our window so of course the obvious um, element that we could you know add into the top portion or top area is the menu bar so something like this so as you can see here guys we have a sample menu bar and then we have menus for file edit view insert and then of course it has different menu items so so for example you want to um, create an application that looks like this so of course you could search for the menu bar here and then you could just drag and drop it on this particular area top area and then it's you know gonna look like this and then the menu bar if you try to open up it here you could click on this plus icon and then you can see all the menus available which is uh, we have here file and then the file has the menu item close the menu edit has menu item delete and the menu help has the menu item about and of course guys it, it is pretty easy for us to you know add menu items for this you could um, add also menus so for example you want to add another menu for our menu bar so all you have to do is just click and drag the menu element into your menu bar so for example like this and then it's gonna add uh, right here and then all you have to do is rename it because uh, by default it, it says unspecified menu so for example you want to add here the about section or about menu for your menu bar you can do that and of course uh, if we try to preview our window you can see here we have the file menu and menu item close so for example we want to add menu item to this for example like this uh, we have import and then include okay so we can do that here so we have here the menu item for example uh, we could drag it here in our menu file okay we could say save okay and then we could also add the import that has uh, another elements or sub elements so you could uh, you could do that you could use the menu and then drag it on the menu file something like this and then you could rename this into import okay and then of course you can add the menu item to this okay and then it's gonna say um, fxml what's the other one the other one is media so this should be 
media okay let's try to preview our window and it's gonna have the import with sub uh, items fxml and uh, media so that's how you add a menu item or menus to your uh, menu bar and of course guys as i have said you can add um icons to this you could also add separator so for example uh, we want to add separator for our import and save okay for example uh, right here we have separator menu item so all you have to do is drag it from here and drag it to the uh, area where you, you want to, you know, add the separator. Okay. Something like this. Where is it? Menu separator. Okay. Not there. Here. Okay. So try to preview our window. And then we can see, of course, the separator between the import and save menu item. And of course, guys, as I've said, you can add icons to this by using uh, any images that you want. Okay. So, so for example, you want to add menu um, icon to this. For our save, you could, you know, add the font awesome icon view. You could just um, drag and drop it here okay and then you could say um, for example save I don't know if it exists save save yeah we have save icon and as you can see we have added the um, icon to our menu item and of course, you could also make use of the image view. So, so for example, to our close, okay, close, and then of course you can select the correct image that you want to use. So, for example, you want to use the icons eight or icons eight uh, application for your Java effects menu bar so close and I'm just going to specify the size of the icon so for example 16 and close uh, like this so I'm just going to drag and drop the icon to our project and then we could specify the source or the image that we want to use okay just like that and then we could preview our window and we're getting this particular um, scenario because the image view is resizing so you can specify the size to that for example 16 by 16 okay save and there you go you have the icon for your save or i mean close menu item okay and of course guys as i've said you can also add the action to your um uh, what do you call this menu item so you could click on the menu item and then you could add the code so so for example the on action you have the option to add here the the method that you want to use if this particular menu item has been clicked by the user so you could add um, item click okay then we could save this file and then we could go back to our NetBeans IDE and then make controller just to update the contents of our controller and then we have here the I'm just going to remove this we're not going to use that method and then we're going to use the item click event 
So, so for example, the user clicks on this particular um, menu item. All we have to do is exit the application. And then the return is zero, which uh, specifies that the application exist, uh, existed or I mean exited successfully. So save this and then I'm just going to clean and build our application just to make sure that all the changes that we have made uh, that we have made will be reflected. And if we try to run our program right now, so run and then you can see the application with the menu bar and we can see the different menu items and of course the menu file which you know has the import um, menu item and then it has the sub menus and then of course we have the um, menu item with the icon that we're using the image view for that so I think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and if you are new here in our YouTube channel and you want to learn more about Java effects and how it works and how to create you know Java effects or real world Java effects application. So I am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.